Okay, this is the back side of the stove where the exhaust comes out of the exhaust manifold and goes up into the ceiling and out through the chimney. I wanted to point out this uh, clean out here. Notice it goes and then drops down. That's because the ash will build up, float through here, and then sometimes not make it outside and then will settle down here. So you need to sometimes take this off and clean it out. You probably notice that we have this bucket it's been here forever, and that's what that bucket's for, although I don't think Grandpa's cleaned it out very often. We cleaned it out just a little while ago, and it was a bunch of, there was ash to about here. So this is gonna be another maintenance thing, regular monthly maintenance will be to clean out this, clean out. Uh, there's a screw here, and a screw on the other side. It's a eight millimeter hex with a screw slot through it, and there's tools in the kit. It has an eight millimeter nut driver that'll work. And uh, you take those two screws out and then you kind of pry this off gently by sticking the screwdriver in and this side and that side and kind of pop it off. Um, after it's clean, you get in there and you knock out all the dust, get into the, to the bin here. Then you push this thing back up and put those two screws on it. And then also you wrap it with this metal tape. And the purpose of this tape is to seal it off just in case any dust kind of gets through the seam there. So I'm gonna wrap it with this tape. And I'll leave the camera rolling so you can see me attempt this for the first time. See if I'm any good at it. Uh, can you hand me a scissors, please? Didn't you ask me if I needed scissors? Yes, I did. I told you you need scissors. All right, so I'm peeling off the tape. It's like duct tape, but it's made out of foil. Scissors. Thank you. I'll keep this tape in the drawer, get about that much, cut it off like that. It's not sticky, it's got a backing on it, just sticky at the top. Peel off the backing. Good thing I have some fingernails here to do that. And I think that we should start on the bottom, wrap it around the top. Hey, that's pretty good. Overlap it a little bit and then just push it in like that. And it gives you kind of an extra seal here. Gives you an extra seal underneath the, the bottom here. So this is just a little metal tray, a little circle metal tray that's pushed up over the um, outside edge of the outside edge of the uh, clean out. So it's not like super scientific or a screw clean off like a plumbing. Uh, to undo it, you would unpeel the tape, strip all the tape off, and then you would uh, do those two uh, hex screws and then just kind of pry the plate off, dump it out, stick the plate back on. Uh, it was, was kind of tough. I had to um, like thread like a, a thin uh, tip screwdriver in there to align the plate right so that the screws would go in. But uh, this doesn't have to be done often. I think... Uh, I'll talk about maintenance in, a, in another uh, clip here.